for one minute. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, as co-chairman of the French caucus, I had the opportunity to escort French Ambassador Gerard Arrow across South Carolina, where he met enthusiastic citizens of French heritage, along with business leaders who appreciate our valued alliance. South Carolina's association with France was highlighted by the arrival of the Marquis de Lafayette at Georgetown to support the American Revolution. His portrait is only one of two here in the House chamber. Today, French investments are extraordinary, with the joint Michelin plants in Lexington providing over 2,000 jobs at a nearly 2 million square foot facility. At the Savannah River site in Aiken, the ambassador toured the mixed oxide fuel fabrication facility using Arriva advanced technology to convert weapons-grade plutonium into green fuel. These investments produce jobs for Americans and profits for France. In between tours, the ambassador was honored to speak to the Columbia Rotary Club, South Carolina's largest civic organization led by President John Johnston, with introduction by French Huguenot Rusty de Pass. In conclusion, God bless our troops, and may the president, by his actions, never forget September 11th and the global war on terrorism.